Welcome to The Squeeze, your ultimate entertainment news destination. We head straight to the headlines. Sound Sultan invited to dine with the Queen of England. You are totally fake. Co-presenter Naya lashes at Toke Makinwa. We also have Janet Jackson wants a divorce and skills is dropped from EME Records. Iroko bus Jason Njoko's absent father comes calling after 33 years. Mm. Fans lash at Jeremiah Gyang. Mm. And then... Karen is free from cancer. And on a sad note, Niola is in a car accident. Fashola bans miniskirt, clinging dresses among public servants. Gollywood actor Majid is in trouble. Mm -hmm. And then my sweetheart, Idris Elba, states, I am not sorry, I am Idris Elba. And Brandy loves Tiwa Savi. Actress Gazelle Bilvis accuses Beyonce of showing too much skin. Annie Macaulay Idibia lashes back at her husband's detractors. This is The Squeeze and I am Seymour. And I'm Nancy. We serve the juice of these stories after the break. Stay tuned. show that plays what you want to watch based on what you tweet. Get your top videos each week on my Twitter playlist on Get TV channel 129. It's hot, it's fresh, then it's here on What's Hot, the show that gives you the lowdown on all the new hot color tunes, full music tracks, all the exciting apps and games available each week and every week. Plus, what's trending on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and surprise interviews too. Don't miss what's hot every week on this station. Welcome back. The ever-talented music artist Sam Sultan, a.k.a. Lanray Fasasi, who is a UN Youth Ambassador, has been invited to England to have dinner with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II alongside other UN Youth Ambassadors. The singer posted a picture of the official invitation from the House of Lords, which is the upper house of the Parliament of the United Kingdom. He posted a picture of the invitation on Instagram with the tag, I was called to London to dine with the Queen. Well, according to the invitation, Sound Sultan and other ambassadors are to feast with the Queen to celebrate Nigeria and her centennial anniversary to promote good governance. So what do you think? A great one, I must say, for Sound Sultan. <laughs> but what I don't understand is if he's the only one that was invited. 
Oh, well, we, we can't say till we find out. Well, I know uh, we have MI also as a uh, UN ambassador, but hey, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. But it's also good to know, you know, some still relevant in the music industry and we're happy about true, that. True, yes. Well, moving on, it was a vocal showdown at Rhythm FM's Morning Drive show as Nanya lashes his co-presenter and popular vlogger Toke Makinwa stating that she has no natural beauty. And Nanya Diali is harsh. Well, according to those who listen to them during the week, Toke attacked him first by saying his shirt was fake. Well, apparently, Naya, who had been taking shots from her in the past, decided he couldn't take it anymore. And this time, he lashed back at her. We have a transcript of the event. And as you all know, since we have a flair for theatrics and reporting things the way they happen, we will read the transcripts like both parties. Um, well, I'll be Toke. Well, I'll try as much as possible to be Nanya with my voice. Mm -hmm. Now, here it goes. Thank God it's just my shirt that is fake, but you, Toke, are fake from head to toe. Uh, really? I didn't know that. C can you kindly expand on that, please? Oh, baby, I will. Let's start with your wheeze, and then your fake eyelashes, and then your makeup, and also your push-up bra, and finally, your bleached skin. What? My dear, I tell you, people will run. <laughs> you have no natural beauty. You are totally fake. Well, all of this was said jokingly, <laughs> or so it appears. You know, I, I, oh my goodness! But it's, it's, it's. <laughs> well, this was hilarious. Trying to act like Nanya and Toke. Wait a minute. I want to assume this is all joke, right? Yeah, well, we hope it is a joke because it's really not cool. Uh, well, I like to think, you know, we ladies, how we like to take advantage of the fact that, you know, guys will always take anything from us. Yeah. And Nayad probably had too much and you can't blame him. Uh, but I don't know if all those things are true. I don't know. Tokyo, is your skin bleached? Well, I don't know. Um, good Nancy, luck to both of you. Let's say there's, there's a little bit of truth in everything. Maybe he's been bottling it up for a long time. I guess so. And he had to do the, you know, bring it out through a joke or mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm. Well, these two are are still putting smiles on people's faces through their show on radio despite the events unlike our next headline. Well, Jenny Jackson wants a divorce from her husband, Wissam Almana. America's sexy actress and music diva is planning to throw him in the towel on her just one year married to her billionaire husband, Wissam Almana. According to an insider, Janet Jackson realized she made a colossal mistake in marrying Wisa as she gave up her career to be a dutiful wife and she even took up Islam for him. Sources also say 39-year-old Wisa, who comes from the Middle Eastern state of Qatar, hasn't made any sacrifices for his 47-year-old wife as he is constantly traveling for work and Janet wonders if he's been tempted to stray. Well, Janet Jackson is set to be confiding in a few close friends and her mother on how miserable she is and that she's preparing to leave him. Well, this is the way love goes, isn't it? Oh, we guess so. Meanwhile, it is reported that We Sam has demanded Janet sign a prenup. She wanted a guaranteed $500 million if the marriage failed before two years. But We Sam held out and said he wouldn't pay her a dime unless it lasted at least five years. Hmm. Interesting, I must say. Now, sources say Janet is getting set to challenge the prenup and demand a fat lump sum payout from his fortune. Her argument is that she gave up millions in earnings for her husband. Mm, Please, <laughs> do women still give up their lives for their husbands? Well, yes, unfortunately, yes. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's all I can say. <laughs> well, next hot gist is that skills is dropped from EME Records. Reports has it that the record label refused renewing Scales' contract after it expired January this year, blaming it on the fact that they had spent so much money on the musician and barely made profits in return. Mm. Well, Scales is said to have moved on pretty quickly, removing all EME logos from his social media, and some reports even claimed he's moved in with Timaya, signing on to Demama Records. Scales has debunked the Timaya rumor, saying it's not true. I am not signed with Timaya or De Mama Records. I'm just doing my thing. Timaya is my friend and that's what it is. Also, when asked about whether he's leaving with Timaya, he says, I go to Timaya's crib because he's got a studio and we just vibe. 
I've got a studio too and he comes over. It's all love around here. Nice one. Well, he plans to move on with his own music label, M-E-T-A-L, Metal, and has redirected all booking inquiries to new numbers and email addresses. He's also currently working on his album. Interesting turn up, I must say. Yes. I mean, but, but does he really, did he have to leave? The, the, the record label, did he have to leave EME? Couldn't they have worked more on his talent to help him, you know? Well, the truth is that for every contract that's been renewed, I'm sure they must have reviewed over the years. If, if it's not working, it's not working. It's a business strategy, I guess, so. Uh, there's something I really need to mention. Yes. The fact that Skills actually started as a rap artist, mm. and then he tilted to pop right now. Could that be the reason they couldn't hold him back, considering the fact that he started at the same time with WizKid? Yeah, well, that, to me, I don't know how he managed to cope being in the same record label with Whiskey, who is totally, you know, he's a Talented mega star, well. and, okay. you know, and, and he's just been stagnant. He must really hurt. But I'm sure by now, the, this whole decision should definitely work in his favor. I hope so. I, we hope to see more good stuff from you. True that. Yes. Well, we'll go on a break, and when we come back, more entertainment news awaits you. Stay tuned. Selections. Select, tweet, and watch your favorite music videos on my Twitter playlist. The all new music video show that plays what you want to watch based on what you tweet. Get your top videos each week on my Twitter playlist on Get TV Channel 129. It's hot, it's fresh, then it's here on What's Hot. The show that gives you the lowdown on all the new hot color tunes, full music tracks, all the exciting apps and games available each week and every week. Plus, what's trending on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and surprise interviews too. Don't miss what's hot every week on this station. Welcome back. Iroko TV boss Jason Njoku's absent father comes calling after 33 years. The tech entrepreneur and Iroko CEO, Jason Njoku, who is enjoying life as a new father, recently revealed on Twitter that his absent biological father, a man he has never met before in all of his 33 years, suddenly wants to meet him. 
but Jason isn't going to dance to that tune. Mm -hmm. True. Well, in his words, he says, my family beyond all the success in business remains the most important thing I have achieved. Only those from a broken home can truly understand that. A happy family is the ultimate sign of success. To be honest, my son, who is now six and a half months old, I haven't really started truly understanding what it is to be a father. Currently, I'm just muddling through. I haven't met my father before, ever. So, it's all in the job training. So, as you can imagine, I was surprised when, after 33 and a half years, my own father decided it was time to reach out. Time to have a chat. Time to connect. Success has many fathers. Failure has none. Hashtag not having it. <laughs> really, this is really this is touching. I, I mean, not growing up with your father and suddenly from nowhere, when you are now a success, he surfaces and wants to connect. What do you think? Oh, well, that's called life, life, life. That happens all the time, all the time. Well, well I we, think you should give his father a chance. They you know? understand their differences. We can't really understand the circumstances in which all of this happened, but I'm sure with time they would they would definitely reconcile. I hope so. And uh, Jason, you can like to send us some of your money too, so we can. <laughs> So, <laughs> understand what you're going through. <laughs> anyway, thanks Lash Jeremiah Gang for accepting to become a brand ambassador of Nasco Biscuits, a subsidiary of Nasco Foods, a manufacturing company in Joss that produces biscuits, cereal, and several household items. They had a huge reputation in the late 90s and the sure. late 80s, sure. you know, but when uh, Jeremiah Gang revealed his ambassadorship several days ago, there was a huge negative buzz on the internet. Several fans commented that he should aim for something higher. Now, this is what people on Twitter had to say. I am going to try and, uh, you know, imitate them. Okay. One of such says, people are wonderful. Jeremiah, 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 how many times did I call you? Do you not have a single hour of shame? Ambassador for NASCO. NASCO of old airports in just Plateau State. And you are proud of it. I am disappointed in you. Imagine the tacky signboard. I am upset. How much did they even pay you, sir, for this nonsense? Mm. Well, the continuation <laughs> says that. You're even doing the peace sign. Can you imagine? Your juniors are doing ambassador for Pepsi, and you're here doing the peace sign for NASCO biscuits. May Jehovah help you, <laughs> and all the people lying to you with congrats. I have nothing to say to you. That's <laughs> true. Well, not all fans took to this in Jeremiah. Several others congratulated him on Twitter. For heaven's sake, I need people. I think people need to take a break. Yeah, I mean, this break. is a good start. I don't care if every other person has on a big brand. This is a good start. And this is our own brand. This is Nigerian. You True. guys, let's support our very own. If we don't model or you know become brand ambassadors for our own brand, do we have to necessarily be brand Who ambassadors will? for foreign products? True. You know, we True. all start from somewhere. It's not like I would I won't accept international <laughs> brand ambassadors. <laughs> Nancy. But we will always represent and celebrate our own. Well, we'll take a break right now and more stories to come when we come back. Stay tuned. Selections. Select, tweet, and watch your favorite music videos on my Twitter playlist. The all new music video show that plays what you want to watch based on what you tweet.
Get your top videos each week on my Twitter playlist on Get TV Channel 129. Congratulations to Karen Eagle, who is declared cancer-free. Seven months ago, the reality star Karen Eagle took to Twitter to announce that she has cancer and soon afterwards she traveled to London for treatment. But the early detection and treatments abroad paid off as she is now cancer-free. Whoop, whoop. True. Well, in her words, she wrote, I am so happy I am now cancer-free. Thank you all for your prayers and support. God bless you all. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a second chance to leave. I will praise you forever. Karen Ified peeps, thank you for your support. I love you guys. With God, all things are possible. Oh, yeah. A new leaf is born. She's still in the UK receiving follow-up treatment and will be back in Nigeria very soon. A huge congratulations to her. I tell you, I Cancer tell you. is a very expensive disease, especially here in Nigeria where we do not have the equipment, all the resources we need. Yes. And for her to leave the country just to treat herself, well, what happens to those who cannot travel out? Well, we just we have to just face the positive and say thank God for Big Brother and thank God she won Big Brother, else we don't know what we'll be true, saying by now. True, so true. that's a very, very positive news. But uh, still on the sad news, um, Niola also faced a near death situation in a car accident. Well, according to the net, Niola had just exited the third mainland bridge on her way to the mainland area of Lagos when the accident occurred at the Oworo Shoki Axis. We were reliably informed that a vehicle which was trying to overtake Neola's car, hit her CRV from behind, mm -hmm. which sent the latest car tumbling. The car is said to have tumbled three times before hitting a tree by the roadside. The EME First Lady was immediately taken to the hospital and is said to only have minor injuries. Wow. Wow. That is, wow. that is... Uh, That's a... Well, thank God for her life. Thank God yeah. it was just minor injuries and we didn't, we didn't lose her from there. It, it, it would have been terrible. Really and this terrible. is a memo to everybody driving in Lagos. True. Please drive like the person in the next car is your own family. True. Don't just drive because you have your behind the wheels. Please drive with caution so and you can save lives. Really try as much as possible not to do the competition. There's no stunt on the road. I just don't No, no stunt when you're driving. Please, it's important. <laughs> Anyway, moving forward, Governor Babatunde Raji Fashionless Administration has banned indecent dressing among female and male public servants at the Lagos State Government Secretariat, Alausa Ikeja. All forms of clothes exposing the female's breasts and other sensitive parts of the female body have been banned because it was getting too rampant and out of hand at various departments. A circular issued by the head of service, Mrs. Josephine Williams, dated 7th February 2014, has been sent to all government ministries, departments and agencies, calling on all directors of finance and administration to immediately move against indecent dressing in the secretariat. Parts of the new dress codes for female civil servants are skirts above the knee level are not allowed. Your skirt must be low your knees with moderate slits and not body clinging in skirts. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Well, if you must wear trousers, such trousers should neither be tight nor revealing and must be worn with a jacket. Also, gowns must be worn by female public servants, must be knee level, moderate slit, no sleeveless or body hugging clothes. Well, the men were not left out as they were also given dress codes. <laughs> <laughs> Administrative officers must wear suit and tie as professionals, and other officers could wear suit and tie or even French suit. Junior and clerical staff are allowed to wear shirts and trousers and French suits, while complete native wear is allowed for all cadres of public servants. Interesting. Interesting. I think it's high time we cut down the way we you know people dress. It's it's supposed to be a work environment. Dress corporate. Dress professional. Represent the brand that you are working for. And don't yeah. just. It's not a party. Yeah, but no, it depends on where you're working anyway. Yeah, well, for those of us in the entertainment, you can actually wear. But there's also a limit. Hello. <laughs> there's mean? also a limit to what you can wear, even in the entertainment industry. Is there? Yeah. I don't think so. No, you can't go naked in front of the TV. Naked? What are you going naked for? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> anyway. Well, moving on. Majid is in trouble. 
Majid Michael made a controversial statement on, on TV, a Nigerian channel, and it has since caused a backlash from his colleagues and friends back at home. Majid said, there's nothing like Gollywood, as some Ghanaians have claimed, but there's only Nollywood in Africa. Nigeria came up with the whole idea and made it a reality for others to follow. And just like you might be thinking right now, movie producers in Ghana felt really insulted, and he asked that Majid retracts his word or never get featured in any Gollywood movie henceforth. Anyway, Majid is said to reply that he was being misunderstood. Not much has been said afterwards, but Majid, you have some explaining to do. I mean, if you if you're going to what I what I like what I'll say is, when you're in a country, try to celebrate your own. You know, you have to understand the 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 differences between each country. I don't know, but, but Nancy, I don't see anything wrong with what he has said, right? He he's 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 just saying that Nollywood represents Africa as a whole, and he doesn't think people should come up with Gollywood, Kaliwood. Do you know why you think that? Because you're Nigerian, so no, it's just easy to say that. No, I don't think he's insulting nah. his country. Well, if I was Ghanaian, I'd be like, what? You mean there's no Gollywood and Ghanaian? It should be Gollywood. What's Nollywood? Take it easy, darling. Okay, Take it easy. Anyway. It's no secret that Idris Elba is a man of many women's dreams. But this week, many of the men standing in the actor's shadow seem to have finally had enough. One man who is tired with the demands of women, wanting men to be just like Idris Elba, when he's the one putting in all the work, started a poem titled, I am sorry I'm not Idris Elba. Okay, so I'm going to try and sound like the man. <coughs> <coughs> Here goes the poem. I'm just a regular man with a regular nine to five that does regular things. I'm sorry I'm not Idris Elba, the man you know nothing about, the man you want me to be like, a sex symbol, really? But you let the character he play and the pictures he takes interfere with our relationship, but he's your man crush, when I'm the one you should be crushing on. When it's cold, who keeps you warm? Me. When you're hungry, who feeds you? Me. I just want a little bit more respect from you. You might not know him, but if you ever did, would you cheat on me with him? I'm sorry I'm not Idris Elba. I'm just a regular guy. <laughs> very, very hilarious. Basically, it was a way for the average dudes to complain about the women's collective loss for Mr. Elba. The comical Sorry Knows kicked off a like-minded, playful Twitter confessional session. Wow, I must <laughs> confess, that was pretty hilarious. And truth be told, Elba really does have an impact. Women everywhere are getting a reminder of how their men do care for them and help them. And well, um, the actor doesn't really. Well, after the Twitter sphere died down, Idris Elba himself responded to the whole Twitter drama by tweeting yet another gorgeous picture of himself with the almost illegible caption, I am not sorry that I'm Idris Elba. But wait till. Was this just an excuse to post a gratuitous picture of himself for us ladies to drool over? Or is there something in this I'm missing? <laughs> Anyways, guys, we understand how you feel. And yes, we love Idris Elba, but we appreciate you all even more. We do, we do, yes, we do. <laughs> well, moving on. Guess who Brandy's favorite Nigerian female artist is? In a recent press briefing, Brandy, who was asked who her favorite Nigerian artist is, and she named Tiwa Savage as her absolute favorite. Going further to say that she heard her perform at the Love Like a Movie show, which also starred Kelly Rowland, and she thought Tiwa Savage's voice was very young, smooth, and really melodic. <laughs> Did you have to do that? Yes, because my voice is really melodic. <laughs> Actress Gazelle Bilvis accuses Beyonce of showing too much skin. In her words, she said, for me, there's so many ways to be sexy without being overt about it. As I get older, I still want to be sexy, but I want to do it in a different way. I want to do it in a way that's more classy. Certain things are just too overt for kids. I love Beyonce. I love her. I think she's beautiful and talented, but I think there has to be a fine line where you have to take responsibility for what you do. I think it's good to be sexy, but sexy can come across in so many different ways. It doesn't have to be everything showing out there, grinding all the time. Well, that's her opinion, and we're all entitled to, to opinions, and I'm sure Beyonce must have thought of it, and she still decided to. To go out sexy. Well, uh, it, it brings out the feminine part of you, but too much of everything really isn't good. Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever floats your boat, please. Okay, Nancy says so.
<laughs> well, last week we mentioned that Two Face was allegedly accused of impregnating his account officer, mm -hmm. Teniola, a claim which he bluntly refutes. True. We promise to give you an update, so here it is. The claim is 100% full. And Annie Macaulay Idibia is also said to join her husband in lashing out at the blog stating at African Celeb Spy. Hope you've gotten all the traffic needed for your blog. There is no difference between you and dumb icon Maxim. Evil people trying to take the sugar out of our tea. Sincerely, I think people need to get themselves together. Enough of the fake news. If you need stories to write, write stories about yourself. You can formulate stories about your life. It's all good. But yeah. leave the man and his family alone. You know, like stories about you and Fali Pupa, or stories about you and Trey Songz. You know? I can't believe you're bringing that up. Anyways, Idris Elba right now. Okay, we have come to the end of today's show. Aww. It's been fun having you all. Let's do it again, same time, same station, next week. Feel free to drop your suggestions, your contributions, questions and entertainment just if you have any. We now leave you with the hottest and newest musical videos. Take care. Bye-bye.
yeah, but I'm on a dim. Every time they come around, me not so bad dim. Cute booty, big boots, me I got a dim. And when I shake it, shake it, shake it, it's a problem. Now shake it, shake it, kick the booty, bounce and bounce, baby, got it, talk it, talk it, booty, got it, set it up. Now shake it, shake it, kick the booty, bounce and bounce, baby, got it, talk it, talk it, booty, got it, set it up. I make them feel they matter. I make them feel so liquid. They might call me mama. I tell them not to bother, and they can't be a hater. And when you hear the gong, I'm about to murder. Chilling with Adam C, y'all respect me. I got them girls wondering who the best is. I can take it there, and it's a real fact. I make them girls all looking like hood rats. I just want to have fun. Them girls shaking their bum. Now tell me what you gon' do? You gon' do? I like the way you turn me up, ooh girl, you burn me up, ooh girl, you turn me up, ooh girl, you burn me up. I like the way you turn me up, ooh girl, you burn me up, ooh girl, you turn me up, ooh girl, you burn me up. I like the way you turn me up, ooh girl, you burn me up, ooh girl, you turn me up, ooh girl, you burn me up. And chopsticks, mad combo. I split the jacks with my family when I go from Zambia to Congo. So I realize that life is but a jungle. I fit to write the script for Uta Jumbo. You fit to like the beat, so don't recite the sheets. I never lose a word that be said. Oh, yeah. Some of them hit, some of them chat, some of them wanted to break my back. Some of them display the bad mind hearts. Some of them put life behind my back. Some of them hit, some of them chat, some of them wanted to break my back. Some of them display the bad mind hearts. Some of them put life behind my back. Jumbo, 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 that's my guy. Let me see you go, Jumbo, Jumbo, I promise I don't go lie. Let me see you go, Jumbo, Jumbo, Lisa. Jumbo, Jumbo, Lisa. Jumbo, Jumbo, Lisa. Jumbo, Jumbo, Lisa. Just like Conros, I'm repping the West and I'm bitting my chest 'cause I see the way the A Conros. You know I see Prince, you know liar. Me I steady go higher, stacking up and I'm getting rich. A night is just bitter, never oh, yeah. night. Some of them hit, some of them chat, some of them wanted to break my back. Some of them display the bad mind hearts. Some of them put life behind my back. Some of them hit, some of them chat, some of them wanted to break my back. Some of them display the bad mind hearts. Some of them put life behind my back. Jumbo, 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 that's my guy. Let me see you go, Jumbo. Jumbo, Jumbo, I promise I don't go lie. Let me see you go, Jumbo. Jumbo, Lisa. Jumbo, Jumbo, Lisa. Jumbo, Jumbo, Lisa. Jumbo, Jumbo, Lisa. I like the way you turn me up. Ooh, girl, you burn me up. Ooh, girl, you turn me up. Ooh, girl, you burn me up.